Hello everyone and welcome back to our first weekly video regarding our second unit that is entitled as the importance, aim, and study of geography itself. For us to start off with the theme itself, we're going to study some key related concepts um, and at the same time we're going to go through the global context itself. So we're going to identify the key again, concept related concepts and global context in relation to the pictures that we have below. And then we're gonna create a statement of inquiry reflecting all the components that we had above uh, in order for us to state and write down um, our own predicted statement of inquiry. Along with the related key concept and global context, we're gonna have a lot of concept vocabulary to be explored, like uh, we're going to study time, space, place in regard to the field of geography, a lot of innovative, um, tools and resources that we are uh, using nowadays in the field of geography. We're going to talk about adaptation, scientific streams, progress, and um, lastly, innovations. And now moving on to the essential questions. So we're gonna answer one common question that is, how do people use resources in different ways around the world to achieve progress throughout time and place? So we're gonna have a lot of case studies regarding industrial revolution in the 18th century and um, we're going to study more about renewable energy transitions in Iceland. So again, we're going to um, have a lot of listed case studies that would help us to uh, eventually answer the question, the essential question that we have in our unit. At our first lessons, we're going to repeatedly identify the importance of geography when it comes to the Earth uh, physical features, including its uh, landscapes and natural resources. We're going to foster and spread awareness and the ability to comprehend the relationship between places, in relation to time and again the resources that we're using nowadays might map how geography helps us appreciate the different cultures um, traditions and ways of life and in one of the interactive games we're going to have the geography scavenger hunt so um the students are going to be divided into groups we're going to give a list of geographic basically items places countries rivers uh different landscapes uh varied uh in different climate zones and we're going to set a timeline and time limit at the same time in order for them to work in teams to set the locations they found on their maps and groups we're going to discuss again the significance of the ge geographic features that they're dealing with or found such as the impact um their impact on weather culture trade and even more Questions are going to revolve, um, you know, around how do geo basically political factors influence the establishment and alteration of na national borders, and what are the implications of uh, regional stability and conflict? So again, we're going to move on to um, another uh, challenging question that is: In what ways can the GIS technology address the um, basically ethical concerns related to privacy and surveillance in a world where GPS tracking is increasingly integrated in basically our daily life so we're gonna um you know uh, answer a lot of challenging questions regarding the resources the common innovative uh, tools and resources um, that are used in our 21st century now as a continuation to the most innovative tools and resources used in the 21st uh, century we're going to create a visual art uh, chart um, and table comparing uh, both GPS and GIS, highlighting the characteristics in regard to technology, data sources, primary functions and applications. We're going to list them, we're going to compare them, and lastly, we're going to create a summary that summarizes all our basically findings in our class. And lastly, in summary, the importance of technology in geography cannot be overstated because, you know, uh, technology such as geographic information system, that is the GIS, the GPS, the remote sensing, the digital mapping tools has revolutionized the field of geography. And again, um, such tools enables the collection, analysis and visualization of uh, a lot of data, allowing geographers to make informed decisions, solve problems, understand the world. Um, tracking environmental changes, uh, planning maybe urban uh, de development, responding to disasters, aiding navigation, enhancing under our understanding of basically the earth and addressing critical global challenges. Lastly, it empowers uh, a lot of researchers to explore the world in depth and make valuable contributions to various fields, from urban planning to environmental conversation and beyond.